Let's be real. This guide is as much for me as it is for you. I know diddly about Hamlet recipes, and if I'm gonna up my cuisine game in our actual playthrough, I gotta get my butt in the kitchen. So, it's time to don the chef's hat once again and whip up some mighty exclusive snacks. Starting with asparagus soup, which just so happens not to be a Hamlet exclusive anymore. So great job starting with this one, Beard. The Slurpy Green Goo will net 20 health, 18.75 hunger, and 5 sanity each. So it's a pretty decently average food that can also be efficiently created via two twigs and two asparagus alone. And that is not bad for a potential day-to-day -day meal. You know, I've been feeling tacos lately, and with two weevil carapaces, a veggie, and a filler, my hopes can be fulfilled. Hard-shell tacos are another fairly simple dish that will provide 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity a crunch. Just don't think too long and hard about what you may have just sent down your gullet. And the same likely goes for some Feojada too, as tossing three bean bugs and a piece of meat into a crock pot will result in a food item that grants 20 health once more, 15 sanity, and the respectable 75 hunger. It's even better when you consider that these bean bugs are technically monster food, but it does seem like you cooked all the negative out of these slimy beans. But oh boy am I thirsty. Anyone care for some tea? Funny enough, uh, apparently there's both iced and regular tea variants in this game, but let's start with the former. Iced tea will give 3 health, 12.5 hunger, and a pretty good chunk of sanity at 33 total. But the real draw is its ability to drop your temperature by 10 for a very short time, but even speed you up by 27% for well over a minute. It sounds interesting, but how do we make it? Well, we gotta get our trap on, as we need orange pinkos. The problem is, I have no idea what the heck the spawn rate of orange pinkos actually is. But, I have found that pinkos love backpacks. So, drop one, and they'll kinda just keep spawning over and over again. Then, you can just drop your trap literally on top of them as they won't run away because they're too distracted. This is how I found the best way to get pinkos. Whatever the case, get a couple and toss the little fuzzies in with some honey and ice to humanely blend them into giblets, only to then enjoy drinking all their guts on a hot summer's day. Come on now, how is there not a greasy, sleazy fast food joint in the Hamlet cities? I'd be there all the dang time, according to some of you. Oh well. But with some succulent meat, some foliage, and a combination of veggies and fillers, we ourselves can start our own food chain with steam ham sandwiches. This mouth-watering meal will net 40 health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity a munch, and is really, really easy to make as well, so stuff your face. And why not wash it down with a cup of tea, mate? Same deal with the recipe, only this time there is no ice. Instead, I found that berries may be the filler of choice. Furthermore, the restored stats of these teas are the same at 3 health, 12.5 hunger, and 33 sanity. But this time around, drinking a cup of regular tea increases your temperature by 15 points and grants a 41% speed boost for two full minutes. So normal tea for the win. However, note that only after one day, normal tea will not spoil, but rather become iced tea. And that is a nice touch there, Clay. Snake bone soup is next, and it does appear that a little boss killing's in order. And we must take down the Pugilus, but seeing as this is the literal first time I have ever seen this boss in game, it's probably best that I just leave this entire boss and the details that come with it for another time. 
Just know that if you want to get to the Pugilus Island, you gotta find the ruins entrance with this little rock formation on top of it. And when it comes down to it, use two of these snake bones acquired from the slithering son of gun and two meats in order to make a food item that gives you 40 health, 25 hunger, and 10 sanity a slurp. And considering how many bones this guy drops, this is very efficient and very nice. Nettle rolls are next, then require three nettles and a filler, preferably twigs, to create. But the nettles may not be so easy to come by for some. For you see, nettle vines only bloom when wet. So unless you are highly vigilant come any sort of rain, or just take the time over and over during humid season to harvest these things, you're kinda out of luck. As option two is much more involved and will certainly be discussed at a later time. Although that is true, know that nettle rolls themselves offer 20 health, 25 hunger, and five sanity each. However, the real purpose, they negate the effects of lush season's hay fever for 720 seconds, mind you, and that equals a day and a half. So yes, get them nettles. And perhaps end your day with a glass of spicy veggies, cause that is a thing apparently. Always requiring at least one radish or asparagus, throw in a chunk of ice and yet another veg for spicy vegetable stinger. A food item that grants three health, 25 hunger, and 33 sanity each. Not too bad, especially because you got a lot of veggies lying around in Hamlet. But finally, time for dessert. Gummy cake not only looks very appetizing, but will gladly fill your belly by 150 points per gelatinous chomp. Note though, that you will lose 3 health and 5 sanity per, but it is well worth it regardless. And to make the blue goo, why don't you toss in a gummy slug, a piece of honey, and two twigs within a crock pot to end the 10 course meal we've had today. Wonderfully delicious. But there you have it everyone, I'll run through all of Hamlet's decadent recipes and what munching and slurping on them can do for you. Remember now, you still got access to all the other Don't Starve recipes at your disposal, but with Hamlet, you got a few unique ones and the rest are still gonna serve you as well as always. But one thing's for sure, our tummy ain't gonna be rumbling no more. Thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.